What's up, my mega blokes? And I'm Andrew. We're having a live stream today. And I'm just trying to get everything uh, set up so we can uh, have a good time. Anyway, what we're going to be doing in this live stream, I got the uh, ODST armor customizer pack, and I'm going to be opening that up in just a minute. Um, I'm going to let some people join up first so we can kind of get a good look at it. Uh, I have my uh, old ODST figure and my uh, one I got from the Stormbound series. Hello, Halo Scout, how are you? Um, and then I got um, a Call of Duty set I want to go over with you just for a minute. And while we're waiting, I did get this thing here. Um, yeah, I'm doing okay. It's a lot cooler today. Okay, so these are um, Beat Sync Sound Activated String Lights. And I wanted to play with these just for a minute just to kind of show you what these are. Uh, you can get these at Walmart. They're about $6. And... Hey, Braden, how are you? Um, let me just get these out, and we will check these out. Um, I thought these were neat. So, what the heck? I thought I'd give it a try. I think I have the batteries in there already. I think you have to hold it on. There we go. And the good thing about these is they kind of react to sounds. So, you can set this to some music and get it on a different setting. Uh... Maybe not that one. Steady on. Uh, maybe. No. This one? No. Anyway, they uh, react to sounds so that you can uh, you can uh, get kind of creative with this stuff. Um, and these, uh, these are small enough to kind of work with in your... Uh, you're animating so I think this is a, a cool little thing uh, I mean for six bucks you can't really beat that and you can have a good time with it um, got a couple different features on it uh, you can have steady on uh, flashing and so forth but you kind of get the idea I'm trying to get it where it, it reacts to the vibration And I'm not sure where the microphone is. There's supposed to be like a little microphone in there. I played with this earlier and I done forgot how to do it. Let me see here. That's a uh, cycle maybe? There we go. That's kind of working. But yeah, it... Uh, it reacts to sounds, so you can set this to uh, like a metronome or something and have this uh, go off. Anyway, for six bucks at Walmart, I thought it was fun. Uh, I think I'll, I'll find a way to incorporate that into something. Anyway, hello, Spider Gamer. All right, let me get uh, let me get caught up. Yeah, my week has been hectic too, man. All right. Um, hello? Dead unknown? Alright, I'm caught all, I'm all caught up. Uh, so this is, uh, the one I got from, um, the Stormbound series. Um, and this one is an older one, and I don't know if you can get a, I don't, I'm not sure what set it comes with, but, um, I thought this would be appropriate since we're going to be opening up the uh, the customizer pack today. So go ahead and get these these two that I have already, just to kind of get a good look at them. Um, and give the camera just a second to focus. It's not going to do it. Try it like that. There we go. Um, so this one is. Um, the old articulated, and I'm not sure if I, I borrowed the hands off of this and put on something else, but it doesn't have the half glove, um, that some of these other ones do. But we're going to open that up in just a second. Um, I just want to show you these real quick, uh, just so you can get a good look at them. And I know that the, uh, old articulated doesn't, isn't really compatible with the new, but, um, you can swap legs out and you can swap out, uh, helmets. 
uh, even though this one might be a little bit bigger than um, the old, I mean the new ones. Uh, they're close to the same size. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea. That's the one good thing about the being able to uh, swap out some pieces of them. It's kind of a bummer they don't all swap out, but that's uh, in the name of progress, I'm sure. All right, so let's go ahead and open that up. I want to get in there and see what all we can do with just these limited few ODST figures that I have, um, just out of curiosity. Uh, find my knife. All right. Um, hope everybody's having a good Friday. Glad you're coming, hanging out with me. Uh, it's a little cooler than it has been here, so I can stay the full hour today and not get, not be at risk for a heat stroke or whatever. Let's get these guys out and get that out of the way. All right. I don't think we need the instructions. We've got two uh, ammo crates here. That sounds like there's something in that one. What? We got stands. I kind of like those. All right, so we have a red uh, ammo crate and a blue one. Um, so I guess you can have everything themed out there. Can everybody hear me all right? I'm sorry. Do the mic check. Forgot to do that. All right, let's get a good look at this guy. Oh, man, I pulled off his shoulder piece. Get that back on there. We'll probably be swapping stuff out here, so that's probably okay. Um, okay, so that's the one that comes assembled in the package, and here's the other one here. Uh, and just looking at him, he looks very much like the, uh, well... I wouldn't say they're the same, but they're kind of close. Get that out of the way. Yeah. Okay, so that one's that. All right, and then we have uh, shoulder pieces, guns. Let me just stand up. Oh. I'll get it. Maybe that's what those stands were for. Maybe I should utilize those. All right, so we got a chest uh, piece here. Blue. As if you couldn't tell that. And red. Uh, we got a couple backpacks here. Put all your extra stuff in. Maybe these guys are in college and they need a backpack. All right, we got a head we can swap out here, helmet, I mean. Uh, and a recon helmet. And a shoulder piece. This might take a minute, guys. Ah, maybe. A little knife. And a little knife. Uh, silver. We got our suppressed SMG here. They really don't want you getting into this stuff. I don't know why they make it so hard. Uh, and then we're down to just uh, customizing shoulder shoulder pads. Shoulder protection. Uh, and we've got uh, gunmetal gun metal gray, uh, silver, blue, and red. So you can have uh, all those. And you can kind of swap them out. I guess the idea there is you can kind of just uh, find something that works for you. We're going to get a good look at the figure in just a second. I'm just trying to get them all out. So we'll have them and we can do some customizing. Okay, so that's it on that. Let me uh, check the chats for a second. I have not, uh, Halo Scout, I haven't sent anything yet, um, 
I was kind of waiting on you that way I could get a return address. That would make it easier for me. Uh, man, I'm just kind of scrolling through here. Yeah, I do like the uh, classic art style, uh, Dead Unknown. Uh, hopefully, the, since they're making the uh, Halo Infinity uh, game that is uh, going to be using the old art style, uh, maybe Mega Bloks will also uh, uh, put out some sets uh, for that. Okay, so uh, just trying to get a good look at the figure here. The camera's not really wanting to work. I bet it's trying to focus on that. Let's get that back a little bit. All right, uh, Joe. Okay, uh, is it going to focus? Focus! Uh, sort of. It's sort of focusing. I hate that it's uh, automatic. But anyway, that's uh, that's one figure there. And uh, the one that I'm probably going to utilize the most is uh, this one. I like the, I like the uh, silver. Uh-oh. I lost my stand. All right. No problem. It's back together. All right. And uh, this is the other figure that uh, came assembled in the, the package. Not bad. I like that. Um, so these two are close in the uh, shade of silver. So you could obviously swap these guys' uh, helmets out and uh, shoulder pieces. Uh, these two shoulder pieces here are exactly the same. Uh, is that the same as that one? Yeah, they're both the same. So you get uh, we got two extra silver shoulder pads here. Uh, this one has the black gloves, uh, or the full gloves, and this one has the uh, the half gloves uh, that the ODST are kind of known for. And they're uh, just a shade darker on this character here. So uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Someone took the time to uh, make those just slightly different. So that's kind of good. Um, this one um, probably can use the recon helmet pretty easily. It looks a little goofy on him. Uh, but still, that that's kind of cool. And so that is that. That is the ODST... Uh, Customizer pack. Uh, so I have four uh, complete ODSTs, and then um, I have some of these extra stuff here. So I can uh, maybe make a a couple of extra guys. I got two extra helmets, so I could probably make maybe six total. Maybe I can get a whole little squadron going there. Uh, but that's the idea there. Uh, you've got, and you could obviously swap these these three uh, here. Uh, in any configuration that you wanted. Um, uh, these uh, red and blue ones uh, both have the uh, the square peg so that you can get a knife in there. Let's see if I can get it on there without too much. But yeah, you can put your uh, your knife there. I don't really care for the uh, the knife uh, that the Halo series has. I kind of like the Call of Duty knives a little bit better. They're just a little bit longer in the blade, so I kind of like those a little bit better. So I may uh, I may dig out my Call of Duty knives when I get ready to animate something with these. Oh. Come on, man! All right, there we go. All right, so there you can kind of and you could uh, you know put a grenade on there or something. Obviously not a uh, a Halo grenade because they don't have the the notch. But anyway, that's uh, that's kind of what you get. You got a, uh, you got your chest plate and your two shoulder pads over here, and then we got two reds backpack. Um, so all together, that's uh, I think that was like ten dollars. So uh, that's well worth the price, I think, uh, just to kind of get all this kind of stuff. And you can, I really like the idea of kind of swapping stuff out and making uh, and utilizing all the uh, the pieces there. Anyway, let me check the chats real quick. Yeah, and you could also buy multiples of these and uh, and really uh, kind of build up your, your ODST collection. All 
I got my coffee here and I'm ready to live stream. Ah, yeah, thank you, man. That's my that's a good video of mine, uh, Dead Unknown. All right. Um, yeah, and if uh, you're looking for a specific thing, uh, like the knives, of course, uh, you can get this. Uh, and you get all this stuff as a bonus. So it's uh, it's well worth it. You got two ammo crates here and uh, two uh, stands. So you get, that's a pretty good value for 10 bucks, uh, I would say. And if you're uh, wanting to recreate maybe uh, Halo 3 ODST, uh, some scenes from there, uh, these would be some good ones for that. Um, I like Dutch and uh, Buck, I think. And I'll have I'll have some of the named ODST characters. Anyway, let's get that out of the way. I want to show you uh, a couple other things, and then we can open it up to a QA. and a uh, We don't need the knife out anymore. All right, so this is uh, another set I got. I got the uh, Call of Duty Motorbike Raid, and I went ahead and opened it and, and put it together just because... Uh, I was kind of jonesing to get get this uh, this one. Um, it's not really a new set, I don't think. Uh, probably came out a year ago, but anyway, I got it mainly for the uh, the terrain pieces here. I really like the uh, the tree mold. Uh, let me see if I can get this in here. Uh, you can get a good look at it. Um, I just like the uh, the tree and the plants and. Uh, this uh, one green plant here, that one's uh, kind of rare to come across. Uh, so I kind of got it just for that, but uh, I mean, really uh, a World War II kind of style uh, motorcycle is also cool. I did want to do some uh, some uh, World War II stuff. So uh, you got two uh, green uh, gas cans there, a uh, sandbag, uh, two of the green uh, plants that they uh, include. And some uh, a barrel and uh, a couple of building bricks here, blocks or whatever. Uh, yeah. And I think I'll use this tree quite a bit. Um, just uh, anytime I'm doing an outdoor scene, I kind of like to have stuff look as real to the universe as it can. Let's get a good look at the uh, motorbike here, just real quick. Uh, I guess it's like a Harley Davidson, maybe. I'm not sure what what it is, but uh, a pretty easy build. Uh, most of that is uh, all one piece, uh, the the uh, frame and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the the wheel, the fender there is uh, all one piece, and so is this. Uh, and you know the steering wheel moves and all that kind of stuff. Uh, really good job. I like it. I think I'll be able to utilize it in some way, I'm sure. Uh, I don't really like the tail light, so I'll probably swap that out with a, uh, a Lego uh, smooth uh, round one. Uh, just because I think that would look better. Anyway, so that is that. Uh, Call of Duty Motorbike Raid. Uh, that's another one that was only $10. I mean, you can have a good time with that, uh, even if you're not animating. So, uh, anyway... We are hanging out, guys. I'm ready to uh, answer some Q&A. If you guys got any uh, questions, I will be happy to answer them. I just kind of wanted to hang out today. It's been kind of it was a busy week last week, and this week has been a uh, a little bit of a break. So I am. Uh, that's not even the character I was supposed to put on there. Oh well. So this week, I just kind of want to chill out. I'm only going to do maybe one more live stream this summer, and then I'm kind of going to get back to to work uh, and try to get some some actual stuff done. Uh, I know I've, I was going to take a break uh, for the summer and kind of just hang out with everybody, kind of get, get uh, more connected with everyone and uh, kind of spend some time with you guys. I know... Uh, when you animate, you don't really get to interact with people much. And uh, once the comments kind of dry up, you kind of stop interacting with people. So I'm happy to do the live stream, but I got to uh, 
I got to get serious and, you know, try to live up to my subscribers' uh, expectations. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you're uh, heading out, um, I appreciate you. <clears throat> I'm going to check the chats real quick. Um, Brayden, I don't know how we're going to do that. Uh, if you would like to trade, uh, you're, you'll you have to get in touch with me through the emails and stuff. Uh, just because that's probably the easiest way. All right. Um, hello, Mega X Studios. If I didn't say hi, I'm sorry. Hello, Max Stop Motions. Um, my favorite stop motion ever. Man, that's a tough one. Um, yeah, that's a tough question. There's a lot of really, really good ones. Um,. I like The Last Colony. That's one I watch quite a bit. I mean, I'll watch that one uh, even today uh, by Motroid X. Uh, he did a really good job with that. And uh, I think he's going to be coming out with a, uh, a part two to that pretty soon. So that'll be, uh, that'll be good for sure. Oh, Made by Me. Uh, my favorite one's probably Grey Matters just because I, I like that one. Um... I felt like uh, I put the most tricks I had, everything that I've learned, I kind of just kind of compiled all that into uh, that animation. So I felt like that one was, uh, it may not be the most entertaining, but I felt like I had the most fun with that one. And um, I really liked the characters and, and how it all came together. Much easier than some of my earlier work. All right, man, I'll catch you next time. Halo Scout, thanks for stopping by. Um, so you're wanting the ODST without the gloves? Is that is that what you're saying, uh, Braden? Uh, I I don't know if I I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, uh, I kind of need these guys if I'm gonna do an animation with them. So uh, maybe, uh, just uh, email me and we can take care of that kind of stuff uh, after the live stream. Anyway, um. I guess we can uh, we can we can customize one real quick. Uh, I want to see what the uh, the blue looks like on this one, just just out of curiosity. If I can get him get him to let go of that, uh, we're gonna use the one there, uh, and even just with uh, one different uh, thing, you've already created almost like a new character. So that's kind of cool. Uh, see here most of the i think all the shoulder pads are exactly the same they're just uh different colors so uh well maybe that one's different it looks different ah very small pieces that's probably on upside down inside this guy I just wanted a blue a blue uh, right shoulder and a blue chest plate it's a shame they didn't include the uh, the sh the uh, thigh the thigh guards uh, blue and red uh, with that. That's that's maybe the only complaint I have. Uh, that way, or maybe uh, a solid blue helmet. I don't have one of those, so I'll have to I'll have to figure out a way to get get some of that stuff. Uh, man, I don't know if that's all right or not. That looks kind of right maybe yeah so you got like one with just blue interesting all right and let's get this one and put him in some red find the red ones guys i'm just hanging out if you get you get a question just holler
Okay, uh, red. I think the red and silver go well together. That looks kind of cool. Man, I wish they'd included the, uh, the thigh pieces. That would have been just, just fantastic. Uh, but that's okay. They also got this little, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's like a little rubber band on their, on their leg. Anybody know what that's for? Like maybe the knife or something? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's try this one. Yeah, I like it. I can work with this. So that's what they kind of look like with that. And, uh, you know, you could, uh, if you have some extra uh, Marines, you could probably uh, dress them up in the, uh, the extra pieces here. As long as you had a couple extra helmets. Uh, and then you could put the extra Marines uh, in the uh, leftover uh, outfits. But anyway... All right, um, Braden, uh, my, my email is, uh, boxsite117 at gmail.com if you want to email me, uh, and that way you can get in touch with me. We might do some trading. Hey, Russian Rivers, man, thanks for stopping by. We're just kind of chilling. All right, um, any good tips for making a good clean stop motion? Um, well, uh, yeah, there, I got a couple tips for you. Um, one is you want some, uh, very consistent lighting. Um, if you have like a desk lamp or something like that, you want to kind of clamp that to your, your table or whatever you're going to be animating on and, uh, try not to bump into it, obviously, um. Uh, the setup I have is all the lights are overhead and attached to the cabinets, so I don't have to worry about, when I'm moving my hands, I don't have to worry about bumping into any of the lights. Uh, you may not have that set up, but uh, just kind of be aware of your lights. Uh, anytime the light moves or flickers or something, uh, it can really mess up the, the look of the stop motion. And... Um, a good camera stand is also, uh, you don't want the camera to move or not intentionally move. Uh, so get a good camera stand, have some good lights. Um, and you're going to need some kind of uh, program to upload your photos to, uh, to edit them in the way that you want. So you're going to need a, a good computer program for that. Uh, you probably know all this already. I'm just kind of running through in my mind what, what all uh, can help you. Um, it's good to uh, employ some sticky tack. I got a little bit here I can maybe show you. Uh, this is black, so it works really well for the uh, figures that are they already have black on their shoes or boots or whatever. So that when, uh, when I'm animating with that, um, you don't see that black as much. And you, you can get a sticky tack, I think, in just about any color. Um, Black worked really well for me, and I have that. I probably have the most uh, black sticky tack. That's the most uh, sticky tack I have. But anyway, uh, just make uh, and when you make movements, uh, try to make them uh, very fine and uh, incre incremental. Uh, you know, you're gonna the more photos you take, uh, the smoother it will look. Uh, and you can always chop frames out if uh, if it's not moving fast enough. But you can't go back and. Uh, add frames in after your your session is over so uh, try to take as many photos as you can and if you have to cut a couple frames that's fine don't worry about that and then uh, adjust your uh, frame rates uh, so that the movements look natural um, it's called easing in and easing out so when someone raises their hand way up in the air uh, the frame rate is going to go real slow at first and speed up and then it's going to start slowing down again toward the end of the motion. So uh, try to employ that. Same thing with uh, vehicles. Uh, you're gonna take a lot more 
photos uh, at the beginning, and you're going to want to set the frame rate kind of low, and then kind of speed it up as uh, as it as it as it accelerates, uh, and that's uh, very makes it a little bit more natural uh, uh, if it behaves like it would in the in the actual real world. I hope that uh, makes sense. Oh, uh, Braden, it's uh, boxsite117 at gmail.com. All lowercase uh, except for the numbers. Creepy boy, yeah. Th thank you, man. Uh, yeah, that's a little thing I came up with, uh, I don't know, maybe about a year ago. And uh, I was, I've been so behind, I hadn't had time to really make a video on that. I'm glad I got to uh, finally knuckle down and get that done. Uh, yeah, that's a great way to kind of add a little detail, and you don't have to worry about uh, permanently damaging anything. And those uh, those uh, dry erase markers, they're real cheap, and uh, usually when you buy a kit, they come with the cleaning solution. So I mean, everything can be undone, and that's the main thing. Uh, I, I like uh, I like that aspect of it because because uh, if you paint a figure uh, with like model paint or fingernail polish, you're pretty much going to ruin the figure once the paint is cured. So um, I may try to find a way to temporarily paint something and then have a way to uh, remove the paint later. I'll, I'll work on that uh, sometime. Uh, Boxite is spelled B-A-U-X-I-T-E. Anyway, uh, yeah, I appreciate that because, uh, you know, you want to, some of the newer figures, I don't have a new one around handy, handy real quick, but uh, they don't have as much detail as, uh, as some of the older ones. Let me find one. Um, okay, that's a good one. And maybe this one. Okay, yeah, so here we have an example of an older figure, and you can see that they already kind of put those details in there uh, for you. Uh, but on a newer figure, they're not as uh, prominent or they don't stick out as much. Uh, and you can see lots of little detail in the, in the armor, but it doesn't uh, stand out that much. So if you're trying, to, uh, you're trying to make it pop a little more or just make it look a little bit more realistic, uh, that dry erase method is a, a good way to do it and not, not mess up anything. And you still have, uh, you know, your figure where you can uh, return it, restore it back to uh, its original state, just in case if you want to do something else with it. Um, if you're having trouble, Braden, I'll, I'll post a link to it in the, the description uh, after the live stream's over. Yeah, I got that Vector one the uh, uh, last week, I think. Uh, so that's a good one. All right, guys, any other questions? I got plenty of time today. I don't have to be in a hurry. I want to tell you um, this, this uh, not this one, but uh, the next one, the live stream next week, will probably be the last one for the summer. Uh, and I'm going to get back to uh, animating and uh, trying to get caught up on some, some stories I've been wanting to do. So um, if you miss it, uh, it will be the last one for the summer. I might do a, a live stream like maybe once a month or something, but I'm going to have to utilize this time to kind of get some stuff done. So... Be sure and catch that. Um, it's going to be the Banshee, the Banished Banshee uh, set. I'm going to open that one up, and uh, I'll probably have another set or, or something else to show you then, uh, next Friday. So uh, be sure and check that one out. And uh, I'm sure you guys are all getting ready to get back to uh, school and work and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and since summer is kind of winding down, it's hopefully going to be a lot cooler out here. It's uh, not too bad today. And as soon as uh, the weather starts changing, uh, man, I'm going to be trying to go uh, full throttle, trying to get, get some stuff done, get some animations done, and try to keep up with uh, with everybody uh, so that they're, they stay happy and subscribed and watch my videos.
Uh, Mike, we had a couple uh, ideas for some. Um, I'm kind of wanting to do one where uh, it's a parody of censors censorship. Um, and you know how YouTube likes to censor uh, certain topics and stuff. And I thought it'd be funny if, uh, like, I have uh, two uh, new Mombasa police officers, and I think they're going to run around... And, uh, like the, we're going to have some, uh, some, some Spartans or some ODST or somebody, you know, fighting the covenant or whatever. And they're going to come in and like try to tell them, yeah, you can't be shooting people. Uh, we're going to use a different, uh, you have to use something else. And, uh, like he hands him a banana and, 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 uh, he shoots bananas at him or something like that. Or, uh, instead of the flame blower, uh, flamethrower shooting out fire, it's going to shoot out like bubbles or something like that. So uh, that'll be uh, one I think will be fun. Uh, and it's always good to poke fun at stuff. So. Hello, uh, Stinger. How are you? <laughs> I call you guys the... Uh, uh, mega blokes. No, no, censorship, not, uh, what did you say? Uh, it is the summer countdown. Okay, yeah, never mind, never mind. Uh, yeah, I've just been seeing a lot of videos on, uh, YouTube, and they're always talking about how YouTube is trying to, like, uh, steer your channel into more content-friendly or uh, family-friendly content, and uh, I thought it'd be funny if I took something that was like, uh, does anybody watch uh, Halo Motion? Man, that guy, he does some good animations, but they are super violent. Uh, so I would like to do something like that, and then have, uh, I'm not going to call them the YouTube police, but I'm going to call them like uh, the, blue, the Blue Tube police, or something like that. I I'm still working on the title. Uh, and then I got a collab I'm going to be doing, uh, I need to finish up, and, uh, a couple other videos I definitely want to get up, and I want to kind of get back into, uh, showing people how to do stuff. Um, yeah, Halo Motion, man, he's the, he does some crazy stuff, uh, I, I haven't seen anything new of his, or if he's come out with anything new, but man, his stuff is good, but it's like super violent, and, uh. It's way over the top. I really like it, though. <clears throat> anyway, that I think that will be a fun video to do. I was trying to think of another one I was going to do, and I haven't... I can't think of it right now. Anyway. If you guys got any other questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer them. I'm just kind of chilling. When I get done here, though, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go relax for a little bit, watch some uh, ancient aliens, see what kind of crazy crackpot theories they got today. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I'll check that out when I'm done here, man. Banana knife, banana knife, do you do banana knife? Do you stab? Stab looks like your diet wasn't healthy. Uh, yeah, I wanted to, to have the guy, he like hands him a banana and he shoots a banana at the guy. Uh, you know, and the peel kind of peels back and sh it shows a banana shooting out of the uh, the peel. And then he's like, this don't do nothing. And he's like, no, 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 it's, uh, uh, bananas are good for you, man. They're easy to digest and they're, they're loaded with, uh, potassium. And, you know, it gives him a pat on the back or whatever. I don't know. It's, uh, it's just a kind of like a work in progress. I'm still, uh, working out some of the, the details. Uh, I get bored and then, like, my mind's, like, always going, like, what, what's going to be, uh, something I can do next? 
I don't really use any software other than uh, the software that's uh, built into the computer. It's like Windows Live Movie Maker. Um, I know a lot of people use like Dragon Frame and those those uh, programs that you have to buy. I kind of just like using whatever's available. And I've been using that for so long, I kind of know what to expect out of it. So I don't really uh, venture out of my comfort zone too much. Uh, and the camera I use is just whatever iPhone that I have uh, currently. I have a uh, I have a Nikon uh, something somewhere. I don't ever use that one though. Uh, but I use my phone just because it's uh, it's really uh, user friendly and uh, it's pretty easy to get in and out of uh, sets. And the camera stand I make it's really compatible with that. So I kind of just use my phone and uh, and uh, the main software program that comes on my computer. Now, when I get a new computer, they quit making uh, Windows Live Movie Maker. So, uh, if I get a new computer, it's gonna have I'm gonna have to get a program of some kind, and I'll probably get a Monkey Motion or Dragon Frame or something like that, and I'll probably try to start learning how to use that stuff. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna keep doing what I've what I've been using. Lego uh, has a free app that you can use, uh, but you, it's all in. You can't really upload it to your computer and stuff, so it's not uh, as user-friendly as you'd think. And if you're trying to put your own spin on it, you know, they got those watermarks and all that kind of stuff, so you have to kind of go back and erase those out of there. So you don't want to use those. Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of people talk about Dragon Frame and how good it is uh, for stop motions and... Uh, yeah, I'm a poor boy too, man. I just ain't got time. I ain't got the money, the extra funds to uh, drop on something like that that uh, I already have uh, on my computer already. And if I have to, I guess I could always use my old computer, um, but I don't really want to have to do that either. I would kind of like to stay on top of uh, the technology that way I can keep up. FK Films? I don't know if I've heard of him. I will check him out. Um, I haven't worked on a script for Grey Matters 2, um, but I will. I'll probably do a sequel to that eventually. It's almost number 12 on my top 10, on my top, uh, videos, so, uh, I guess that's pretty good. I wish more people would watch it, though. You think you're poor, you don't know? <laughs> you have one dollar. <laughs> Uh, I already spend way too much money on my YouTube channel, so I try to I try to keep it uh, as, che as cheap as I can, and I try to share my my cheapness with everybody. That way, they if they're on a budget, they can uh, kind of pick up some tips from me too. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll check him out. Uh, FK, I wonder what that stands for. Um, oh, um, man, that's a really easy one. Uh, you wouldn't think it would be that easy. I don't have anything to, to use as an example, but, uh, what I did was, uh, I got the, uh, the elite and I got his hand sticking out like that. And, uh, as he's fallen and I had a little piece of wire wrapped around his wrist and I had it just out of frame or just uh, close enough to the edge of the frame that you couldn't see it, and then I had him fall to the ground like that. Uh, just a really easy one, just having it just nearly uh, out of frame. If you look closely, you could probably see the little wire around his wrist. But yeah, that's how I did that one. Uh, I try to do all the effects in in the uh, in the shot. Every now and then I'll go back and add add something, but usually I try to do all practical effects. Uh, just because I think that uh, nothing wrong with using uh, digital effects. I just feel like uh, if I'm I'm animating with uh, real figures, I should use real effects uh, just to kind of give it that extra a little bit of charm. Um, there's so many things that are digital, uh, and since I'm not very good at it, and a lot of people say that I can do practical effects pretty good, I kind of I try to focus on just the practical stuff.
Ah, first to clear out. That they threw to first clear out. Ah, I don't know what that question is. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, that's a really easy one. I, I would do a video on that, but it's so simple. Um, I'm not even sure it can take up a couple minutes. Hello, Chubby Donut. How are you? Well, there ain't nothing wrong with digital. I mean, a lot of times that actually can make it, uh, it can pop and, uh, and look a lot better. Um, I just like the practical effects just to see if I can do them. And that, uh, one of the things I like to do is think of ways, uh, the practical effect can be implemented into the video. Uh, and that kind of keeps my mind sharp and, uh, sometimes it works out. Sometimes it looks good and sometimes it looks awful. Um, the blood, uh, usually when I do the blood, it doesn't look uh, very natural. So I'm, I'm still kind of working on a blood medium that, that works well. Uh, Play-Doh is just god-awful. I hate Play-Doh. Uh, it doesn't stick to anything. Uh, it dries out too fast. I just hate Play-Doh. I try to use uh, modeling clay or candy or something like that that's kind of sticky. And it sticks to the figures better. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? No, it's all good. We're just kind of chilling. I went over my uh, ODST uh, customizer pack and uh, my Call of Duty uh, motorbike uh, raid uh, set. So you can check those out. I didn't really go over them uh, in too much detail. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, Play-Doh is just awful, man. I wouldn't recommend Play-Doh at all. Um, I would try to use modeling clay that you can get at uh hobby lobby um they've got like a variety of colors and it it never really dries out completely it'll dry out a little bit but uh you can always uh hit it with a spray bottle and uh and it sticks to the figures it's actually a little bit sticky so when you have something uh, like uh a bullet hit hit a person uh you can actually have it stick and uh you can kind of expand on that uh candy works really good like uh, starburst and uh, Laffy Taffy work real good. Uh, they're sticky, so they stick to the figures, especially if you have something that's uh, real fine fine detail that you're trying to do and you don't want it to fall off. Uh, I use uh, candy, mostly. Yeah, I guess clay could sometimes. If you use candy, uh, you can just hit it with some water and it'll wash away. Uh, so you can try that if, if you're having trouble with the clay. All right, man. Uh, what is the best name for a Halo figure? I think it's John, John, or John. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> I don't know that one. Hello, Ghost 26 yeah, if you haven't checked out my little night video, I guess you could go check that out. That one was fun, uh, and I put that one together uh, pretty quick. Um, I was trying to think of some, uh, something to say about it, but it's really just a talking talking video. Those are usually uh, a lot easier to, uh, or a lot faster to make than uh, one that has a lot of action. Uh, yeah, that one's kind of fun. If you don't have clay, uh, you've got to have some candy laying around the house. Uh, Starburst works good for, like, alien blood. Uh, they have, uh, you know, the grape and uh, the banana and all those different flavors. Uh, but, yeah, that works really good, um, mainly because it, it's, uh, it's sticky enough uh, to actually stick to the plastic. And then if you get it uh, a whole bunch on there and you, you want to get it off of there, you know, you can just hit it with some warm water and, and uh, they'll be clean again. I might do a video on that uh, all candy special, uh, and then uh, show you how to use use that stuff. Yeah, warm water works good for uh, for candy. Uh, the clay can get like uh, when you put it down in the stuff, like uh, like say you put some some clay down into that uh, hole in the back. Man, you'll have a hard time digging that clay out of there. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend it for everything, but. It's a, it works a little bit better than Play-Doh. 
Yeah, that's uh, another thing is uh, you can eat the starburst while you're uh, while you're animating. <laughs> Kool-Aid? I don't know how well that would work. Uh, you really got to use something that you can kind of manipulate a little bit. Uh, if it's water or colored water, it's not going to work as well. Uh, so try to use something that you can kind of kind of uh, manually uh, move around. If you want it to look more realistic. <laughs> Brayden, you gotta work on your spelling, man. <clears throat> Thought that said taint for a second. Get me all choked up. Uh, some people use uh, sand, uh, like colored sand, for like water or lava or something like that. You can use that for, uh, man, you can get sand everywhere, though. I mean, that's that's going to be a, a pain to clean up. Uh, well, you don't have to be in a hurry, man. I'm, I'm here I'm here for a good another 10 minutes or so. You don't have to be in no hurry. <sighs> yeah, when you said uh, for both blood and my... I thought that said taint. I'm not. I'm not sure what you were trying to say there. Um. Yeah. Sure. Uh. Let me get him off of here. Yeah. I really like this uh, little motorcycle. That's a. Uh, that's going to be a. Now, I'm not crazy about the color, but uh, I really like that kind of old school. Uh, World War II kind of motorcycle. Yeah, they did a really good job of that. Um, and the guy on the uh, motorbike is... I think he's a no-name character, but uh, let me get him up here. Or maybe you can see him. Got the uh, the travel goggles on. Little uh, scarf there to keep his neck warm. Got this really awesome looking shotgun. You know, you can, uh, you can reenact some uh, Terminator 2... Shotgun, uh, shotgun play. And I think that's the first, uh, like World War II style grenade that I've got. So that's a good one to have. I got that one. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's a good set for, uh, 10 bucks. You can't beat that. Uh, and I can, I can use that, uh, quite a bit. Let me see what a ODST guy looks like on there. Just for fun. Yeah, you could definitely do something uh, time travel uh, with this, maybe. Um, we don't really want to reach. Well, I got it. I got it cocked over there too much. There we go. Uh, it's not a sport bike, so he doesn't look as happy. There we go. Whoop. He's on the motorcycle. What? Wheelie time. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, we can uh, we can put some uh, chopper uh, bars on there. Uh, no, the helmet doesn't come off, unfortunately. I think it's mold. No, it does come off. Never mind. Whoa, dude. That looks funky. It looks like uh, you could use this guy for, uh, uh, like, this guy gets shot in the head, and boy, you got a lot of room there you can work with with uh, some practical effects. Yeah, the helmet comes off. Uh, I didn't know that. I was just uh, assumed that it was uh, made on there. So that's kind of crazy. I've never seen that before, actually. So that's what his head looks like. He's got kind of like a T. Mr. T. We'll call him Mr. T. So, that's kind of cool. Thank you, man. I never would have even noticed that if uh, you hadn't said something. Very cool. And we'll just put that on there like that. He's got a turban. <coughs> yeah, that is weird looking. Uh, 
It's different. I haven't seen that before. Um, no, I don't have any of the Terminator ones. Uh, that's another one of them that they had at Walmart for a little bit, and then uh, they disappeared like real quick. Uh, you really got to be on your toes uh, if you're gonna try to build up your uh, your collection. You know, you you can't just uh, be like, oh, I'll get it uh, in a week or so or a month, because uh, they'll just quit quit uh, quit carrying it, and then you'll have to pay a whole bunch on Amazon to get it. Uh -huh. Get to the chopper! Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Call of Duty, them, I, I mean, I do, uh, I like the Halo stuff, but, uh, man, the Call of Duty stuff, they got just as much, uh, good stuff, uh, as, as the Halo stuff. Um, I kind of want to get that, uh, shipping crate, uh, set. And they have it at Walmart. I better get it before uh, before I run out, before they quit carrying it. But, uh, yeah, I kind of want that one just to have have a shipping crate. Anyway. All right, guys, I got maybe uh, five five more minutes. Hey, Traylon, how you doing, man? We're just chilling. Tell him I said hi to. I need to come hang out with you sometime. Uh, yeah, they they don't really come out with uh, Halo sets as often as uh, some of that other stuff, and I don't know what that's about. Maybe they're just kind of running out of ideas, or they're kind of focusing on uh, other other properties. So hopefully, uh, once the new games come out, we'll have some. Uh, they'll get more uh, more sets to buy. Um, there's one set that uh, has the. Uh, Alpha Hunter, I think that's what it is. Or something that's at Target. I want that one. Uh, it's like a broadsword, but not a broadsword. kind of want that one, too. I'm saving up my money. I may be able to get that, uh, but I don't know. <sighs> yeah. I haven't really since I uh, started the live stream. Before the live streams, I, I have out. I, I stopped buying sets because I had a. Uh, I felt like I had everything I needed, so uh, I haven't really even been shopping around. Uh, but uh, since the live stream started, I kind of went around there and tried to get some uh, sets that I, I know that I will that I will use uh, eventually. So, uh, but after the live stream's over, I'm probably going to go back to uh, not buying sets uh, as often. It's not that I don't want them. I just uh, I'd rather use what I have, and uh, I don't know. Let me see where we're at. Uh, oh yeah, the the newer sets are way better than the older ones, uh, even in the quality and uh build technique and all that kind of stuff i really like the newer sets uh some of them older ones they don't go together that good and the the quality of the uh bricks and stuff isn't uh, as good as it is now uh they are almost up to uh, lego and the quality uh, not quite but they're still uh a lot better than they used to be so i am happy about that all right uh where are we at um uh yeah i'll check that guy out um g gw hunter does a lot of custom stuff uh, if you guys want to check him out he does a lot of good uh custom vehicles and stuff like that so uh check him out if you want yeah i like the older figures uh in some ways uh, uh better than the newer ones um I guess since I started with the uh, the old ones, I kind of have a I have a soft spot for them. But uh, you don't have as much uh, creative freedom uh, with with their motions, so I do like the newer ones in that aspect. Uh, so, all right, guys, I'm winding down. I like the newer ones. Yeah, I don't have the pelican. I wish I had that one. Let's 
Oh, yeah, the Star Trek. Excellent. <sighs> yeah, old school is good. If you can find a way to blend uh, old and new school, uh, that video I made about the knight and the two Spartans, uh, that's uh, an old, a very old style uh, figure of the knight. Uh, it's even older than the Halo stuff. Uh, so, and then I blended it with some uh, new set that I have, uh, Fire Team, Rhino, Stingray, something. But yeah, I mean, I, I felt like that worked out pretty well. Yeah, I want the Mammoth too, man. I wish I had that one. There was a guy that lived uh, not too far from me, and he was selling all of his uh, his Mega Block sets, but he wanted like $700 for like all of it, and I couldn't get the money together in time, and uh, he sold it to somebody else. But he had like probably 30 plus vehicles, and uh, he had the uh, he had the Mammoth, he had the uh, he had a bunch of them. He had all just about all the uh, ones that I have, uh, and and a bunch of a bunch of other other good ones uh, but yeah I wish I had that one I do actually like putting sets together uh, so I mean it's great to get a customizer pack but it doesn't have the same appeal as like building a, a vehicle or a setting or something like that uh, I wish they would make more sets like uh, Calling Clash and and some of those other ones that actually have like a building and and uh, an actual setting for you to uh, kind of interact with. <clears throat> Hello, Jose. How are you? Yes, I'm glad you subbed. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm now a 5K YouTuber. I feel like I've uh, I've I've made some kind of accomplishment. Chief versus the brute. Oh yeah, yeah, that, those are fun. Uh, I may make some more of those soon. Uh, Chief versus Chieftain. Yeah, those are fun. Uh, I did spell Chieftain wrong in all in all of them uh, except for like the last one. Uh, I thought it was spelled with I A N and it's just A N. But anyway. Yeah, man, we wish they'd build all kind of stuff. Yeah, they're pretty funny. Uh, believe it or not, that that was uh, just a way for me to kind of practice animating without having to think up of a, a really elaborate story. So I come up with a, like a little compilation video of them trying different things, uh, kind of and kind of like a competition. Uh, but really, that was just a way for me to kind of practice my animating and uh, kind of get better at it and learn some learn some stuff, and also give uh, the viewer something to watch. Uh, I do like those uh, those compilation videos that people make, but without a story, there's not much context to what's going on, and I have a hard time making my mind uh, wrapping my mind into just a maybe a scene or two, or and then moving on to something else. Uh, so. I'm, I'm a, I will probably do some more uh, compilation videos uh, just to kind of try some stuff that I haven't got, got around to uh, practicing. But, uh, yeah, it was just kind of a way to uh, practice and uh, work on my techniques and stuff. Yeah, those are some good ones. Uh, they're kind of funny. I look back on them. They're not as funny as I remember, but not very many things are good when you look back on them. All right, guys, I got maybe five more minutes. Yeah, I'll probably do some giveaways uh, at some point. Um, I'm probably going to host another contest, but not uh, not for a while. Uh, I've got one video for sure I've got to get made, uh, and I've got, uh, I've got to really get serious about getting it made. I've been putting it off, so I've got to get that one done for sure. And then I'll probably do maybe uh, another contest after that video comes out. Um, and then I would probably do, and instead of uh, doing a giveaway, I'll have uh, some prizes to uh, give out uh, for the respective uh, winners. 
So be uh, be thinking about something to, to have ready for a contest entry at some point. All right, guys, I got maybe just a couple more minutes. Yeah, I would like to do uh, one, hopefully around Christmas time. Maybe uh, I can get caught up by then and then have something uh, maybe during that week of Christmas break or uh, Thanksgiving break or whatever. Fall fall holiday. Um, I need to work on... Uh, getting some of my stuff ready that way when uh some of you other guys have a contest i can enter your contest maybe and uh we can all kind of help each other out and uh it's good to participate in things yeah i'll work on uh something like that yeah i like fortnite i don't i don't get to play that much because i'm so busy but yeah i really like it it's kind of cool um Someone did a stop motion uh, with Fortnite, but it was Halo characters. I can't remember if it was Stinger or um, Stop Motion Bro. Or can't, does anybody know who that was? Maybe when I get uh, a little more comfortable and where I'm at on the channel, uh, I can take a break and kind of we can do some Fortnite. Um, when Halo 6 uh, comes out or Halo Infinity, um, I'm probably going to d do some uh, some uh, live uh, matchmaking, and you guys can join up with me, and we can play some Halo together, and kind of kind of have a good time. Well, happy early birthday, Ben! All right, Ben. Uh, you have a good weekend after. I'm about to wrap up here. I got some things I got to do now. <laughs> well, if you uh, if you don't give away too many uh, plot points, I don't think anybody can uh, they can copy you. So just keep that under wraps, and you should be fine. I got time for maybe one more question if you got one. Otherwise, I got to go. You guys have been good to me. I appreciate you hanging out with me on a Friday, uh, just chilling, talking Halo, talking, talking stop motions. I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. All right, man. I'll see you. Be sure and check out the uh, next Friday stream. It's going to be the last one. Uh, I may do a live stream once a month after that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, just according to how much how much work I can actually get done. So uh, so next next Friday will probably be the last live stream for the summer. And then maybe after that I'll maybe do one maybe once a month or something. Uh, and kind of hang out with everybody. Give you updates on the channel. Give you updates on where I'm at on my, my stop motions uh, and, and anything else. Uh, but I have to kind of, I need to dedicate this time that I have uh, doing the live stream now, I need to kind of dedicate that to uh, getting work done, getting sets built, uh, getting videos out there. I'm a 5K YouTuber now, guys. I got to get serious. All right, man. Uh, I'm going to put my Gmail in the, the description, and if you want to do some trading or uh, whatever, we'll, we'll see if we can work something out. Um, I'm pretty stingy with my with my figures because I never know which what I'm gonna need or what I'm gonna use. So, uh, but anyway, we'll give it a try. Why not? Well, be careful, man. That's a long trip. Well, it would be for me anyway. But you know, be careful. Have a good time. I've been to New York once. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> But I'm from a small town, and going to a big city is kind of intimidating, so uh, you may have a lot more fun with it than I did. I was a little nervous. I did the uh, Hurricane Sandy cleanup. We went up there for work. Uh, we went around to uh, 
different people's uh, neighborhoods and cleaned up all the trees and limbs and stuff that uh, and had uh, blown down and stuff. Uh, but it was a good experience. So I wouldn't trade it for anywhere, anything. That's a real long trip for you, man. You be careful out there. All right, guys, I got to go. I hate to run off on you, but uh, I've got some stuff to do. Uh, check out the good night time, and uh, I'll, I'll see you next Friday.